there, I'm Miss Laura with the Wichita Falls Arts Council. And today we're going to draw some tubes. Um, we'll do a practice sheet first that looks like this, where we practice drawing different styles of tubes. And then we'll use what we learned while making this practice sheet into, or we'll use those tubes to make a tube drawing where you'll get to decide what your tubes will do. So in this drawing, I have some sort of liquid blob that's traveling through, it's changing colors, and then ending in a different color liquid blob. Um, I think these sort of look like a Home Depot extension cords with that bright orange. Um, this is more abstract where we have a tube that just continues and it's connected to itself and then it's changing colors. Kind of like a silly straw with some fish. You can choose to put animals in your tube and make it look like they're traveling through something. I have a some sort of koala mouse, um, some fish, I think a large bug. In this one, I chose to make a plant with two stems made out of tubes. And this one is just a big giant jumble. So using the steps that we'll do in our practice sheet, we'll be able to make one of these drawings. So to do this, we're gonna need two sheets of paper, one paper for that practice sheet, and a second one to do your own composition. So I'm going to start with one sheet here and I'm placing it in portrait mode because I'm going to draw some lines going across and I don't want to draw really long lines so I'm choosing to use the shorter distance. So right at the top we're going to make our first tube and we're using a pencil and then I also have a sharpie. You can use a marker if you don't have a Sharpie or even a pen. You just need something that doesn't erase. And we're going to use pencil today to draw our guidelines. Every tube will start with a pencil line to guide us before we make our tube. So I'm going to start by doing a straight line going across the very top of my paper. Almost to the ends, but not quite there. And I'll zoom in. Okay, so now our pencil line is there to guide us in drawing our tube. So I'm going to draw the outer walls of the tube using my pencil line as a guide. So I'm going to draw a line on top of my pencil line with my marker. And I'm also going to draw a line underneath. So our pencil line is kind of sandwiched in the middle of our two marker lines. I'm going to erase my pencil mark now because I finished drawing my tube. And then I'm going to add a little oval at the end there and a curved line on the other side. So now it kind of looks like a straw. So that's our first line. Now we're gonna do another line right underneath it. This will also be a pretty simple line, but we're getting a little more complex. And so just like the straight line, we drew from left, oh, the left side of our paper to the right side, we're gonna do the same thing, but this time we're going to do a wavy line. So I'm starting on the left side and I'm just creating some soft waves. Looks like I have two little bumps there. You could have more or less. I'm gonna grab my marker again and draw my tube walls on either side of my pencil line following the curvature of my pencil. I can do the whole line all at once or work in sections. I'm 
trying to keep it as even as I can. Sorry, Mr. Kim. Okay. And same thing, gonna draw a little oval at the end and a little curve line on the other end. And I can erase my pencil mark. Right underneath these two lines, I'm going to draw my third and final practice line. And this is where it gets not so much complicated, but we're going to add an additional rule. We're going to go one step beyond drawing a line on either side of our pencil mark. So for this third line, we're going to create two loops. So I'm starting from the left side. I have a pencil go down and then going to loop up once and then again, kind of like a roller coaster. Because this is pencil, if I want to modify my loops, I can do that and just erase. Okay. So we're following the same rules where we draw on either side of our pencil line using our pencil line as a guide. So I'm gonna start on the left side and I'm just gonna follow the line. I'll work in sections, so I'll do this little part first. And now I get to a point where I have to cross this pencil line that's swooping down. And I'm going to just remember something and that is that marker always beats pencil. So marker can travel over pencil and that's fine. So both these marker lines can travel over this pencil line. And then I'll continue making my tube around my guide pencil line. And I'm gonna come up top here. Okay, and now I get to a point where my marker is meeting this marker line. And marker cannot go over marker. So I can draw up to my marker line. And then I have to jump over to the other side and then continue making the tube around my pencil. So marker can cross over pencil, but not marker. So I'm getting to my second loop here. And my marker, of course, can cross over pencil. This marker beats pencil. And then I'll continue drawing the loop. And same thing as before, I get to a little marker barrier. So I have to stop and then I can continue on. I jump over the section here and then continue until I get to the end of my pencil guideline. I'm gonna draw a little oval at the end, a little curve line at the other end, and now I can erase my pencil mark. Okay, at this point, we have done our three practice lines, and now we can move on to our final drawing and use what we learned while making our practice lines. And this is the point where you decide if you want to make your tube into something, you can plan accordingly. Maybe you're doing a water slide, so you need to draw a ladder first and then draw your pencil line to guide your water slide on its way down. Um, I'm just going to do a, just a big pile of tubing that connects to itself. 
So same thing as before, we're always going to draw a guideline with a pencil first and then create our tube around our guideline. So I'm just going to start here. I'm going to move around my paper, have it loop and cross back over. And then I'll connect it to the end. So because I decided to connect my pencil guideline to itself, I don't really have a clear starting point so I can start anywhere. So I'm just gonna start right here. And I'll make my tube in sections and I'm following the same rules I did with our three lines, especially that looping line. And that is I can cross over pencil right here, but I cannot cross over marker. And I'm just following this line and I'm moving around, making a tube, my pencil as a guide. I'm not jumping around either. I'm just going where this one pencil line takes me. And I met markers, so I have to jump over. I met marker again, so I have to jump over and continue. If you haven't started yet, you can absolutely start now. I'm just gonna keep drawing.
So right now I'm just erasing all of my pencil marks. And once your marker outline of your tube is finished and you've erased all of your pencil guidelines, you can choose to add color if you want. I think I'll leave this one black and white. Mm -hmm. Let's do drawing. <laughs> 